Hey folks, Adam here with Project Pawpaw, and today we're going to talk about the pawpaw's evolutionary niche and how the knowledge of that can help us to more effectively use pawpaws in agroforestry and orchard systems. A big misconception that people have about pawpaws is that they need shade or that they like shade. And that probably comes from the fact that people often find pawpaws growing at the base of a deciduous forest in the shade. But what that really means is that pawpaws tolerate shade. We can see that pawpaws grown in full sun produce more fruit, more flowers, they are more vigorous, and they're the best yielding uh, trees for orchard systems. They're also the just healthiest trees. The trees growing in the base of a forest are just tolerating those conditions. They can wait there for years, never getting more tall than this, and often not producing flowers or fruit at all. What they're waiting for is a tree above them to fall down. They've established their roots and they're lying in wait. They're an early secessional species for small disturbances in a forest. So when a tree above them falls down, they're primed to go and capture that canopy real estate and start to produce their fruit, spreading their genes. In the meantime, they're spreading through root suckers. Here we're in a pawpaw patch, which is a really common growth habit for pawpaws, where it's spreading from roots. All of these trees are clones of the parent tree, genetically identical, but spreading out to, to be ready and poised for when a tree above them falls down. We can use this knowledge to shape the way that we use pawpaws in agroforestry or orchard systems. This here is a tree tube. This is a recyclable one made out of paperboard, but there's also ones made out of plastic and all other sorts of materials. The point is, when we establish seedlings in full sun, they seem to suffer. They don't, the seedlings don't like being in full sun. But if we establish a seedling with a tree protector over it, the seedling is protected and is able to put its roots in and get established and ready. It's just like in nature when the seedling's growing in the understory of the forest. So then when we remove the tree protector after a year of growth, the seedling is established and ready and it senses that light just as if the tree above it fell down and it's time to grow and it's time to produce fruit. By being observant and learning from nature, we can find ways to more effectively use nature to help feed humans in a more sustainable way. Anyway, check us out and check out our website, projectpawpaw.com to see more about what we're doing and how we're funding it and to be a part of the solution. Thank you very much and we'll see you later.